In the latter stages of the Roaring Twenties, the city of Huntsville saw a massive building boom with the building of the city's first skyscrapers. The Tennessee Valley Bank Building, or the current Terry Hutchins Building, the Huntsville Times Building, and the Russell Erskine Hotel. On Christmas Day, 1924, the McGee Hotel burned to the ground. The hotel had been on the corner of Jefferson and Clinton Streets for more than 40 years. The Huntsville Realty Company was formed in 1925 to build a seven-story office building on the hotel's site, becoming Huntsville's first skyscraper. The officers of the company were T.T. T. Terry, W.F. Struve, M.M. Hutchins, R.E. Smith, J.F. Chambers, and R.C. Allen. The architect of the building was the R.H. Hunt Company of Chattanooga, Tennessee. The building's architecture was late Gothic Revival, and the first to be constructed without load-bearing walls. Another unique architectural feature of the building is its green frogs. On June 19, 1925, Earl Klein of Birmingham was awarded the contract to build the skyscraper. The monetary total was $131,104. The Hutchins Company of Huntsville was the successful bidder for the heating, plumbing, and wiring at a net figure of $23,532.50, making the combined contract cost of the new office building, exclusive of the ground elevator and of some other features, $154,665.50. According to the June 25, 1925 issue of the Huntsville Daily Times, things are beginning to hum on what promises to be one of Huntsville's busiest thoroughfares in the near future. Contractor Klein has a force of carpenters building a layer of Jefferson and Clinton streets, also making more excavation, and men are busy placing lumber on the ground with which to make the concrete form for the foundation of Huntsville's initial skyscraper office building. The Tennessee Valley Bank Building formally opened to the public on Wednesday, June 9, 1926, the bank being the primary tenant on the ground floor of the building. In 1944, the name was changed to Terry Hutchins Building, the primary owners being Mr. Ira M. Terry and the three Hutchins brothers, M.M., B.F., and W.C. Hutchins. The man responsible for Huntsville's second skyscraper was Mr. J. Emery Pierce, the editor and general manager of the Huntsville Daily Times. Mr. Pierce, in the June 28, 1925 issue of the Huntsville Daily Times, announced plans to build a multi-story building to house his growing newspaper. The architects for the building were R. H. Hunt Company of Chattanooga, Tennessee. The building was designed in the Art Deco style. Construction of the Huntsville Daily Times building began in 1926 with the erection of wooden columns on the first floor. As quoted from the November 4, 1926 issue of the Daily Times, hundreds and thousands of people have visited the site of the new 10-story office building for the Daily Times at the corner of Holmes Street and Metropolitan Avenue since the actual work of construction began more than a month ago. The contractor of the Times building was Earl Klein of Birmingham. Workmen completed the 12th floor of the building in September 1928. Businesses began moving into the building in November of that year, and the Times moved from its offices on Washington Street and published its first newspaper at the new location on December 12, 1928. The third Huntsville skyscraper was the Russell Erskine Hotel. The hotel was named for the owner of the Studebaker Corporation of South Bend, Indiana, Mr. Russell Erskine, who grew up in Huntsville. The hotel was located at the corner of Clinton Avenue and Spragan Street. The idea for the hotel began in the summer of 1927 when Mr. L.B. Goldsmith recruited investors for the new corporation entitled the Huntsville Hotel Company. The biggest contributors, according to the minutes of the first stockholders meeting on April 19, 1928, were the Hutchins Company, Oscar Goldsmith, T.T. T. Terry, H.C. Laughlin, A.R. Erskine, R.E. Smith, 
L.B. Goldsmith, R.L. Schiffman, J.E. Pierce, W.M. Stanley, W.M. Newman and Company, O.J. Brooks, and R.C. Allen. The architectural firm who designed the Russell Erskine Hotel was Marr and Holman of Nashville, Tennessee. The Huntsville Hotel directors met on September 12, 1928 to consider three items, approving E.G. Holiday Company as the general contractor, the Hutchins Company to do the plumbing, heating, wiring, and ventilation work, and the Otis Elevator contract. All three items were approved by six votes. The excavation work on the hotel site began on July 30, 1928. The opening of the hotel on January 3, 1930 was a grand party, one of the bigger-than-life occasions in Huntsville's history.